Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Wednesday, February the 4th, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Sometimes it is difficult to live up to or to live out what we know is true and what we state as truth. The statement I quoted yesterday from the preamble of our Declaration of Independence is a good example. It states that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with inherent and inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. As a country, we have not always included all of us in this foundational and unifying statement. The best example of this is the exclusion of people because of race in order to justify slavery. Just because it is a truth and we say it is a truth or God's will doesn't mean we always live out God's will. Sometimes our own self-interest gets in the road. This is sin. The Apostle Paul addresses this issue in his letter to the church at Ephesus in chapter 4, verses 4 through 16, when he says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, Just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all, but each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. The gift he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro, and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. Through Paul, God was telling the church to grow up. Stop arguing about who is most important and celebrate and use the diversity of your God-given gifts. Know that your unity is in your faith, the story of your salvation, the good news, a unity of spirit, a bond of peace. Live out that unity with humility, gentleness, patience, and love. Don't be childish and let yourselves be distracted from the truth. Keep speaking the truth in a loving way. Growing the body of Christ in loving truth is God's will for the church and the world. This is God's message for his church yet today and for each of us as Christians. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, teach us to be your church. By the power of your Holy Spirit, help us to grow in your love and your grace that we might live up to and live out the truths we proclaim. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.